Welcome to today's Tuesday Truth. And if you're watching this on any other day, that's also all good. We have been looking at our Bibles to learn more about why we need Jesus. Now, can you guys tell me, what do you think a king or a queen needs to do their job? Would you expect a king to need dishcloths and sunlight liquid and sponges? Well, Jesus is God's son and also his promised king. And he came to earth to clean, not pots and pans and floors, but our hearts. Today, we are going to learn that we need Jesus to clean us from our sin. We're going to read a story about someone who Jesus helped in Matthew 8 verses 1 to 4. This passage takes place just after the Sermon on the Mount, the great teaching that Jesus delivered, and where he teaches his people how to live as people who belong to his kingdom. And now Jesus is stepping out and showing them what that looks like. So let's all read together. When Jesus came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. Immediately he was cleansed of his leprosy. Then Jesus said to him, See that you don't tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Now, leprosy was an illness that made you very, very sick. And people could get sick if they came in contact with you. People were really afraid of getting this illness, so they stayed far away from anyone who had leprosy. Lepers could not eat with God's people. They didn't have people come close to them to be their friends, and they couldn't spend time in the synagogue worshiping God. They were outcasts, and nothing could cure them. No medicine, no creams, nothing else. How do you think the leper felt about the way that everyone else treated him? But this leper that we read about, He knew something about Jesus. What do you think it is? He knew that Jesus is God's king. He called him Lord. And he also knew that Jesus is powerful enough to make him well, to heal him and take away the leprosy. He didn't say, Jesus, if you are able to help me, please make me clean. No, he said, Lord, if you are willing. So another way that we can say that sentence is this. He said, King Jesus, if you want to, please make me clean. The leper came to Jesus desperate, knowing that Jesus is the only one who could help him. And what did Jesus do? Well, he wanted to help the leper. Jesus was kind. And he also did. He was powerful enough to clean the leper from his leprosy. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. He said, I want to be clean. And instead of the leper making Jesus sick, Jesus made the leper well. He made him clean. Jesus' healing power was stronger than the disease. How do you think the leper felt now? Jesus told him not to tell anyone, but to obey God and offer a gift. And this true story is good news for us. We all have sin in our hearts that makes us unclean. And just like people stayed away from the leper because of his disease, our sin separates us from God because he is without sin. But Jesus is kind and powerful. He wants to help us too. And he is strong enough to do it. Jesus' forgiving power is stronger than any sin. Even the worst sin that you can think of, Jesus can defeat that. He already has. When he died on the cross, he took the punishment for our sin in our place. But he didn't stay dead. He rose again on the third day, and that shows us that Jesus has defeated sin and death. 
All we need to do to be clean from our sin is to come to Jesus, just like the leper did, desperate, knowing that only Jesus can make us clean. Jesus can do it and he wants to do it. We just need to ask. How does that make you feel? How do you feel that you can just come to Jesus and ask him for forgiveness, no matter what you have done? I want you all to also think for a moment before I pray, what sin you need to be cleaned from. You can talk to God about that while I pray for us. Let's close our eyes. God, thank you so much for this incredible true story. You know our sin, God. You know all the sin that we need to be made clean from. Thank you that we can talk to you about it. Thank you that you sent Jesus to make us clean from our sin. Thank you, Jesus, that you are kind. You want to help us, but you are also powerful. You are strong enough to do it. Help us to trust you and not anything else to make our hearts clean. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all for today. I'll see you next week with another Tuesday Truth.